the great Archbishop Marcel Lefebvre, founder of the SSPX, actual Catholics, now known as traditional Catholics, since the Judas Council can't help but respect and love this man, faithful warrior for the actual church, as he was. Yet the official position of the SSPX was and is that the men apparently occupying the chair of Peter since Pope Pius XII and since the Judas Council were and are actual popes rather than diabolical impostors. Consequently, if one walks into an SSPX church today, in the vestibule one will be confronted with the foul visage of the man currently known as Pope Francis, he who diabolically stands against everything, the SSPX, the Society of Pope St. Pius X, stands for. Though the SSPX is officially anti sedevacantist in practice, aside from that token picture on the wall, the SSPX is sedevacantist. They routinely resist him and ignore his teachings. An attitude not at all suitable towards actual popes. See the link on this I'll provide below this video. But it is an attitude most suitable towards wolves in shepherd's clothing like Pope Francis. I believe that if the good Archbishop were alive today, he would long since have reached the point that he would have changed the official position of the SSPX, that he would have embraced, however reluctantly, surely, but he would have embraced the set of the contest position, which is simply the position of those who see and accept the hard reality that one cannot be the head of a body of which one is not a member. And if Francis has made anything crystal clear, it's that he hates the actual Catholic faith with the white hot hatred of a thousand burning suns. But popes, actual popes, must, of course, be Catholic. One cannot be the head of a body of which one is not a member. Just think, if we were to transport one of the saints, let's say St. Alphonsus Liguori, into the present day, time warp, and tell him, hey, uh, St. Alphonsus, the man presently claiming to be the Pope, among other things, seeks to obliterate, to wipe out from the face of the earth the Roman rite, the actual Roman rite, the rite that you celebrated so faithfully and fervently throughout your priesthood. What do you think he would say? He would say, this man cannot possibly be the Pope. It's not a question of him simply being a bad father. No, this man can't possibly be the Holy Father, because a true Holy Father does not seek to obliterate the Roman rite, nor does a true Holy Father feed his children stones instead of bread, as this Pope Francis never ceases to do. Furthermore, I'm convinced that a great saint like St. Alphonsus wouldn't tell us that we need legal authority in order to recognize factual reality, the factual reality spitting in our faces daily, day after day. Scandal, filth, spewing from the mouth of this Pope Francis, this most unholy anti-father. As for Archbishop Lefebvre, he having the heart of a saint and being a true lover of truth, and therefore unable to any longer deny the reality, the stark reality of this vile man, Francis, spitting in our faces, spitting on the bride of Christ day after day, week after week, year after year. I believe that at this point, the good Archbishop would have embraced, however reluctantly, the set of the contest position.
The article that you're seeing throughout this video is an article on the Sedevacantist quotes of Archbishop Marcel Lefebvre. I'll link to it below this video. Have a look.